going on thanks for joining the channel once again just wanted to uh post a video here just talking about uh pierre paul you have once again exposing justin trudeau for his ridiculous policies so let's get to it and then we'll talk about it a little bit after in years of trudeau we have the fewest homes per capita of any country in the g7 even though we have the most land to build on we spend the most money on residential construction and we have by far the most mortgage debt as a share of our gdp this decade, the OECD says that Canada has had the worst economic growth in that group of nations, and they project we will have the worst economic growth for the next three decades. Canada is only is one of only eight countries in the OECD where average real incomes today are lower than before the pandemic, as inflation has outpaced nominal income growth. I repeat. We cannot use the dog ate our homework excuse of COVID for that because most of the advanced countries have seen incomes outpaced inflation since the pandemic, even though here in Canada, we have not. And Canada is expected to rank dead last among OECD countries for growth in labor productivity over most of the, the next 40 years. That is his record put up against other countries. So no, it is not acceptable to simply blame the rest of the world for problems that are made in Canada. Yeah, you know, the part where he was talking about, like, the pandemic and, you know, how other countries have recovered from that and most people can out, uh, their wages have out-earned inflation, but not here in Canada. Now, someone like Christian Freeland will literally come in and talk about this in the House of Commons, but how all the jobs they've created. But they fail to mention that all these jobs are low-paying, non-unionized jobs with shit benefits. Well, here's a job. Oh, by the way, you're going to need another one because your rent's fifteen hundred and your groceries are four hundred, and your benefit sucks. You got to pay for some of your medication. That's expensive. You, you can't you can't get all of that with one sixteen dollar an hour job here in Canada. But that's what they've created. And they, they, of course, they're not stupid enough to where they don't know this. They, they absolutely know exactly what they're doing. They're just trying to use this whole liberal math to explain to Canadians who are stupid that they are the better party and that they're the ones that are doing good things for Canada and they care about the climate. Oh, all of a sudden we're on track to hit one of our target uh, emissions a target. It's okay. Even if you hit one, it's what you're one for how many? You're, you're one in nine years? Like, give me a break. Like, obviously, everything that this party has been doing has been the opposite of what's good for Canada. They'll say they created more jobs, but they won't tell you how bad those jobs, how there's no future opportunity to grow. There are managers at some of these value bud marijuana stores here in Ontario that are making 17, 18 bucks an hour. Like, you're a manager. You're not even making a living wage. Well, 17 should be a living wage. Yes, it should be. The 17s should not be that bad. But when rent's 1500 it is bad money. And they haven't built more houses. They haven't... There, there's tons of buildings here just in Hamilton that are abandoned and could be restored. Government buildings you could use that aren't being used anymore. And they don't do it. Why? Well, maybe this is whole part, the whole part of their plan. Maybe these people are evil, like I said they were. Maybe they're not stupid. Maybe they're, they've are they been trying to get rid of the middle class. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they are all this stupid. They're just, they're just so incompetent that everything they do is just the wrong thing. But then the, the, these same people who tell you that, no, they're just incompetent, not evil, will also tell you to go to the same schools and universities that they went to because you need an education. You need an education to be stupid? I don't think so. But what you do need, if you have someone who is educated and they're bad people and they're power thirsty, this is what happens. That's why I say they're evil, not stupid. So I know this is a bit of a short video. I just wanted to cover that, guys. There wasn't much going on today from what I've seen. So uh, that's going to be it today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back shortly with another video.